Hi everyone. So let's take a look on the proof of this important theorem. So first of all, the statement of this theorem is the set of all real numbers in closed interval 0, 1 is uncountable. And in a previous video, I have told you that a set of all rational numbers is countable. So in this video, I'll show you that set of real numbers in this interval, closed interval 0, 1, this is uncountable. So let's prove it. Here the interval is closed interval 0, 1. Now, in open interval 0, 1, in open interval 0, 1, we know that the elements are in this form 0 0.1, 2, 3, 9, and so on. Uh, 0 0.5478 and so on. Okay. That means the elements in open interval 0, 1, the elements are in this form 0 0.a1, a2, a3, up to a n, and so on. And all these digits, all these AIs. AIs are from 0 to, sorry, AIs are from 1 to 9. Okay. So we can write the elements in open interval 0, 1 in this form. Now, if I can show you that in open interval 0, 1, the real numbers are uncountable. And after that, if I add the boundary points 0 and 1, that will be again uncountable. So our aim is that we have to prove that open interval 0, 1 is uncountable. Okay, let's prove it. First of all, if possible, let open interval, the collection of real numbers in open interval 0, 1, this is countable. Okay, so if possible, if possible, set of all real numbers, real numbers in open interval 0, 1 is countable. Okay. Now, since the elements in open interval 0, 1, these are countable, so we can, we have two possibilities that this will be either finite or this will be denumerable, okay? But we know that in open interval 0, 1, there, there are infinitely many rational numbers. So this will be not finite. So we have only one possibility that is denumerable. So if it is denumerable, so the elements will be in this form, suppose x1, x1 equals to 0 0.A11, A12, a13, a1n, and so on. Similarly, x2 equals to 0 0.a21, a22, a23, a2n, and so on. x3 equals to 0 0.a31, a32, a33, a3n, and so on. In this way, in this way, xn that is equals to 0 0.a n1, a n2, a n3, a n n and so on. Now, I am taking an arbitrary element from these elements. I am choosing an arbitrary element. Say the element is y. Okay. So since y is from these elements, so the format of y that will be same. That means y is equals to 0 point, say b1, b2, b3, bn, and so on. This y are from these elements. Okay. And this bi, bi is equals to 1, 2, up to 8. Okay. Now, suppose y is equals to 0 point, b1, b2, b3, bn, and the condition is that bi this is not equals to a i i i am repeating i have chosen a number y from this collection and the format will be same okay 
and now I am adding a condition that B I that will be not equals to A I I. Okay. Now suppose Y is equals to X one. If Y is equals to X one, there is a uh, an element or an digit a digit A one one that is of the form A I I. Okay. Suppose Y is equals to X two, and here you can find a digit A two two. Suppose Y is equals to X three, then you can find A three three. In this way, if y is equals to x n, you can find a n n. Okay. Now, if you choose any number from this collection, you will get a digit of this form a i i. That means I am getting a number y, which is not in this format. Okay. That's why there is a contradiction in our assumption. That is countable. Okay, so we can say that this open interval zero one is not countable. That means open interval zero one is uncountable. Okay, now if we add the boundary points, so this will be closed interval zero one, and again this will be uncountable. Okay, if you have any doubt, then please comment your doubts and thank you.